السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ وی آر دا بلیسڈ پیپل آف اللہ بیکاز وی گاٹ سو مینی اللہز گفٹڈ تھنگز اینڈ مینی تھنگز وی ہیو بین بلیسڈ آٹومیٹکلی ود آؤٹ ریکویسٹ ود آؤٹ دعا لائک آور باڈی پارٹس safe and sound and our health our energy and also this energy we use in order to do different type of skills different type of work and professions and we earn so much money resources properties and so many more things so this is blessings of allah and whatever we are getting from our energy from our capacity capability what is blessed to us so we have to think what is outcome of that like in the form of wages in the form of wealth in the form of resources properties and the belongings whatever we have so those are special gifts of allah for us because we came in this world empty hand and we will die with empty hand all the things which are coming to us and becoming our belonging and those are special blessings of allah so we have to distribute them we have to use them according to rules regulations of allah that have been told to us through holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and we call it sharia so we have to follow it completely and fully in order to be successful in this world and the world hereafter if we are not to oh, distribute all the things according to the settled islamic rules regulations of sharia then we are disobedient to allah like some people of their earning and their wealth and belongings they are to withhold that they are not to distribute they like to keep it and become miser and stingy people and those people are disliked by allah completely and fully in holy quran allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wa may yuqa shuha nafsihi fa ulaika humul muflihun and a person who has been saved from his desire of the nafs from the greed of the nafs so that person became successful in surah ali imran allah said auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim wala yahsabanna allazina yabkhaluna bima atahumullahu min fadlihi هو خیر لهم بل هو شر لهم سيتوقون ما بخلوا به يوم القيامه الله سد ولا يحسبن الذين يبخلون بما اتاهم الله من فضله هو خیر لهم سو دا پیپل هو ار مائزر هو ود ہولڈ وات الله هاز گیون دیم they are not to spend they are not to distribute they are just to withhold that and then they say that it is blessings of allah allah has given so much to us allah is very really happy with us allah said i am not happy with them and the things which i have given to them those are not better for them بل ہوا شر لہم اللہ سیڈ 
بل ہو شر الحم بٹ دوز تھنگز آر ہارم فل فار دیم ڈینجرس فار دیم بکاز سو تب وکون ما بخلو بہی یوم القیامہ بکاز ایٹ دا ڈے آف ججمنٹ آل دیز تھنگز وچ ہیو بن بلیس ٹو دا پیپل وچ ہیو بن گیون ٹو دا پیپل اینڈ دو دوز پیپل دے ہیو ناٹ ڈسٹریبیوٹڈ دیٹ ون اکارڈنگ ٹو دا ڈسٹریبیوشن سسٹم آف اسلام سو دے آر ود ہولڈنگ دیم ود ود ہولڈنگ دیم اینڈ دے آر کیپنگ دیم ود دیم سیلو اینڈ دے آر مائزر اینڈ اسٹنگی پیپل اینڈ وٹ ایور دے آر ہولڈنگ آل دوز تھنگز if they are wealth or that is money or that is intelligence or skill or anything knowledge or anything so whatever they have so those will be sayutawakuna will be will encircle their neck at the day of judgment so everyone will be encircled with the neck with that thing for which they were holding they were not to distribute they were not to uh, distribute but because the right of distribution was compulsory for them but they have not done that one so that will be a trouble at the day of judgment for them holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said you have to be careful from withholding things you have to distribute spend not withhold because many people before you they have been killed before because of that this way this type of thing which you withhold then this type of thing makes a person more greedy of the wealth and the belonging and the person even understand halal and haram equal so there is problem for that person to identify what is halal what is haram and this is very important message for us holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that the three things kills the people the first thing that is misery the person who withhold withhold the things withhold the things withhold the money or wealth or belongings the second thing the desires which are not allowed according to islam the person has those desires in mind and tries to fulfill them that is other trouble for the muslim people the third thing self praising self liking whatever coming in mind the person like to do that one so these three things kill the people holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said that a person who is miser do you think his mistake will be forgiven and the person who is oppressor that is doing lower sinful act but the sinful act of the person who is miser is more than the oppressor more than the cruel person because allah said that i will send the person who is miser to the hell not to the paradise one day holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was under tawaf of holy kaaba 
and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he has seen one person who was also doing tawaf but after tawaf he hold he held the the sheet of kaaba and he was requesting allah with tearing from the eyes holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked the person what is your sinful practice this person said my sin is the biggest of all biggest than this earth holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said is that biggest than the sky he said yes and the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said is the biggest than the arsh of allah biggest than the throne of allah he said yes then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said is that biggest than allah he said no allah is the greatest of all so then that person he was crying holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said tell me now what was your sinful act so that person said that i am wealthy person rich person but when i look a person who is coming to me is beggar then i feel that a fire is coming to me it will burn me holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said be away from me your fire should not burn me and holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also said to that person that if you between rukn e jamani and between maqam e ibrahim if you are just to stay 1000 year and be busy every time in salah and cry so much that from your cry the streams flow and from the water of that the trees grow up to that time if you are in the state of misery so your place will be hell and this way keep in mind that the place of the hell is the worst one then holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to him وَمَن يَبْخَلُ فَإِنَّمَا يَبْخَلُ عَن نَّفْسِهِ وَمَن يُوقَ شُحَّ نَفْسِهِ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ A person who is doing who is withholding the things and that person will have a burden on himself and a person who has been saved from the greed of his nafs that person became successful so we have to look after our daily life what is our practice are we greedy person or generous person because greed is the curse and keep in mind that misery is the most worst thing before allah so allah dislike it completely and fully this way Allah said in surah uh, Nisa ayat number 37
اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الزین یب خلون و یا مرون الناس بل بخلی و یک تمون ما آتا ہم اللہ من فدلی و آتدنا للکافرین عذاب مہین اللہ سیڈ اللہ زینہ یب خلون پیپل ہو آر مائزر آر سٹنگی و یا مرون الناسا اینڈ دے آلسو سی دا پیپل آڈر دا پیپل دے انوائٹ ادر پیپل بل بخلی ٹو ورڈز دا مائزری دے سی یو ہیو ٹو ود ہولڈ دا تھنگز آلسو یو آر نٹ ٹو ڈسٹریبیوٹ ود ہولڈ دا تھنگز وٹ یو ہیو And they are just to hide what Allah has given them. So people who do this way, Allah said, وَآتَدْنَا لِلْكَافِرِينَ عَزَابٌ مُحِينَ And these type of kuffar, they will have to get the worst punishment at the day of judgment. So very important point is this. We have to look after our life and be generous person. Because generous people are blessed people. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the generosity is the tree of paradise. Its branches are hanging in this world. A person who is holding any one branch of this tree, this tree will take the person to the paradise. Similarly, Holy Prophet also said that the misery is a tree of the hell. A person who like to hold the branch of misery because the tree that is misery tree its branches are spreading all over the world a person who is just to hold the misery that will take the person to the hell Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said two types of manners are very good. One is generosity, other is good feeling about other people. And he said two things are very bad for a person. The first thing is misery with holding the things and the other is bad feeling about someone. Holy Prophet said, you have to forgive the mistake of the person who is a generous person because Allah helped that person. So, when Holy Prophet he was coming from uh, one battle and uh, because in that battle Holy Prophet وسلم, he ordered to kill all the people but except one person Ali bin Abu Talib عنه, he requested Holy Prophet وسلم, why you saved this one person Holy Prophet وسلم, said that Jibreel alayhi salam, he came to me, he said, don't kill this person because this person is a generous person. So generous person is respectful before Allah. And Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also said that the generous person is near to Allah, near to paradise and near to the people and away from the hell. And similarly, a person who is miser, that person is away from Allah, away from paradise, away from the people, but 
near to the hell fire. So this way, be careful that you must be the generous person. Holy Prophet ﷺ said, From my Ummah, the people who are with high status, they will they will not enter into the paradise because of salah, because of fasting, but they will enter there because of generosity, because of purity of the heart, because, because of good things like spreading of good things also. So they will enter into the paradise. Holy Prophet wasallam also said, that Samri, Samri means the magician at the time of Bani Israel and Allah said to Musa Islam, don't kill him. So Samri was those person who made the calf with the gold and people they bow down in sajda before that and understanding their own God. So here Allah is saying to Musa Islam that you are not to kill this man but leave him because he is a generous person. So Allah respect the generous person also. So very important for us that we should be generous person because generosity will bring in us good things and make us Allah's favorite person and life in this, in this world and the world hereafter become better because of the cooperation and coordination of us. Our cooperation and coordination must be with those people who are generous and those people who are miser people who are withholding things withholding their intelligence withholding their uh, talent withholding their uh, god gifted abilities and qualities so those people, we must advise them also, but then we have to request Allah for the guidance of those people. So that those people, if they will be good, they will be good not for themselves, but for whole society. Alhamdulillah, they will get the blessings of Allah being generous person in this world. Allah make us generous in this world so that we should be the favorite person of Allah. Amen.